everyone, it's Kim. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. So today I am bringing you a new recipe. It is white bean chicken chili. I know I've been telling you for weeks that I was going to make this recipe and I just have not had a chance to make it yet. So today, today is the day. So super excited to try this. I'm going to give a shout out to Farmhouse Girl, which is where I found this recipe at. I will link to her YouTube channel below. And I'm going to go ahead and get this recipe started. It's super exciting. I love chicken chili. I love a white bean chicken chili. I've just never made one myself. So super stoked about giving this one a try. So let me turn the camera around. Let's go ahead and gather some ingredients and let's make this recipe together. Don't forget, give me a thumbs up if you like my cook with me videos and um, leave me some comments below because I love hearing from you. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm just gonna run you through the ingredients real quick before we get started. So in my crock pot, I have three chicken breasts. They're right here. And yes, they are frozen. So it just kind of makes it easier that you just throw everything together. Now to that, we're gonna add one can of great northern beans. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse and drain those before I pop those in. We're gonna add in one can of pinto beans. And again, I'm gonna drain and rinse those. One can of corn. I'm just gonna dump that one right in. Three tablespoons of ranch seasoning. And this is one of the reasons why I buy the big one here. So I have it on hand for things like this. Two teaspoons of cumin. Tea <laughs> two teaspoons of minced garlic. I need two cups of chicken broth and I just threw some chicken bouillon cubes in here and we're just gonna use that today. One jar of salsa verde looks like this. And they have this just about anywhere. And then we're gonna add some salt and pepper. So we're gonna throw all this into our crock pot. We're gonna throw it on high for about three to four hours. I'll come back and check in once we get to that point. So let me go ahead and drain the beans and get those rinsed and we'll start stacking this stuff up and layering it in our crock pot. Okay, so again, three frozen chicken breast. To that, we're gonna add three tablespoons of the ranch seasoning. I'll show you that one more time. Just gonna sprinkle that over the top. That's two. And that's three. The next thing we need is two teaspoons of cumin. so I know what I put in. And then we need two teaspoons of that minced garlic. And I'm just using this kind here from Costco. Just gonna pop that in there. To that, we're going to add in one can of corn. I'm not gonna drain this. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to drain it, but I think that's fine. We're gonna add in our drained and rinsed beans. One jar of salsa, salsa verde, if I can open it. Oh, there we go. So one jar of salsa verde. I love dump and go recipes, just in case you didn't know. And then we're just gonna pour our, our semi chicken broth in there and that'll all come together once it starts cooking. So again, I'm gonna pop the top on, I'm gonna put it on high for about three to four hours. In the meantime, I have my bread maker out. I'm gonna go ahead and throw in a fresh loaf of bread. And I am almost positive I have filmed my bread in the bread maker before and I'll find that recipe and I'll link that one below. If I did not film that, oh, we'll see. Let's see how that goes. So stay tuned if, um, I'll let you know where that's at, where you can find that once we get there. So. Oh, it smells so good already. All right, I'm gonna get this started and be super excited for dinner. Okay, so just so you know, I did find that recipe, so I do have that link down below. I've got all my ingredients in my bread maker. We're just going to shut the lid here and then hit start. 
The good thing is, is that if uh, you use, well, this particular bread maker, if you use it, then it remembers your last setting. So I don't, I just, this is the only time I really use this is when I make, you know, just a regular loaf of bread. So it makes it super nice to, that it just remembers. So enough of that. I just wanted to let you know that this is all set. So my white bean chicken chili is going, my bread maker is going, dinner is going to be amazing. All right, so we are about four hours into this. I went ahead and kicked my pot up just to kind of get this boiling a little bit here. I'm going to pull out the chicken breast and shred those. Actually, I'm just going to scoop this back. And then I thought what I would do is I would throw four ounces of cream cheese in here just to kind of give it that creaminess that I was looking for. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that next. And hold on, I'm gonna get the rest of this stuff off here. Get this pulled out. And I just have some fat-free cream cheese here. And you can do this step or not do this step. I don't think it would really matter. But like I said, I just think it'll add a little creaminess to, to, the, to the pot here. So we're gonna go ahead and get that in. Cut that into some cubes here. You see that I'm just cutting it. I'm just gonna pop that right in here. And just stir that around and let that go ahead and melt. And in the meantime, I'm going to pan you down. And I'm just gonna shred these chicken breasts, which should just shred really easy. We're going to pop that back into the pot, give it a stir, and then my bread and the bread maker over there is done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this part up, show you one final look, and then I'll give you a picture of that once I get it plated up in my bowl and such. Oh, it smells divine. I mean, it really does. It just smells amazing. All right, I've got that in there. Let me bring you back over to pot here. I'm going to go ahead and grab my whisk. Just whisk that, whisk that together really quick. Oh, that's better. I like the color of that better. Do you? And let the rest of that melt in there. I'm gonna pop that chicken in there. I mean, this really was an easy dish, I think. All right, and that's it. And done. All right, so there we go. I'm gonna get some light on there for you. Sorry, that lighting was a little bad there. How's that? Bring you up and in. How does that look? Delicious, right? Just totally delicious. All right. Now you could add salt and pepper. I did not add salt and pepper to this in the beginning because I didn't want to add the pepper because of the, the salsa verde. And since I used the chicken bouillon cubes, I didn't want to over salt it. So I just figured we would salt it if it needed it, but I think it's going to be fine. So here we go. White bean chicken chili, super easy. And now I've got some extras for lunch. Now, since I added that cream cheese, I'm going to go ahead and count one point per cup on this. But if you're on blue or purple and you did not add the cream cheese, this would be a zero point soup, chili soup, whatever we want to call it. Today. Hey guys, I just wanted to pop on really quick and give you my thoughts on the soup today. So with the white bean chicken chili soup, whatever you want to call it, um, the salsa verde made it taste like it had a really strong sour cream base. My husband, not a fan of sour cream at all. I mean, at all. So he was not a fan of this recipe. My suggestion would be maybe use half the salsa verde, or if you are not a sour cream type fan, I would try to swap that out. For the life of me, I can't figure out what we would swap that out for. 
but I am going to try to find a, another white bean chicken chili recipe that doesn't use salsa verde and I'll try that one again in the future. I'm going to have to give my husband a little bit of time in between recipes though because this one totally was not his favorite. He actually did not. He took a few bites and then he was done with that and ate, just ate something else later. So just wanted to kind of let you know what our thoughts were. I like sour cream but it was still it was still a little strong. So again I would have I would go with half if I didn't have him eating the same recipes with me. But just 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 wanted to kind of like I said give you my review of the recipe. It's still a really good recipe, don't get me wrong. But again very strong salsa verde taste and we don't cook with that that often so maybe that's the way it's supposed to taste I mean maybe maybe that's how it is but again um, I'm sure that I've wrapped up the video but thanks for watching and I'll see you next video all right so with that said again I'll put pictures at the end of the plated bowl and I'm gonna wrap things up here have a great day and we will see you next video